Hi, this is Dr. John Heary, and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, what are excitotoxins and why are they harmful to our health. So excitotoxins are chemical substances that they'll overstimulate certain types of cells in the brains uh, of our nervous system and many other organs. When, when they're high and at, in excessive amounts, these cells become damaged and they, they may die. Now, you know, the underlying mechanisms of the way excitotoxins work, um, they've they've been attributed to, you know, contributing towards uh, certain diseases, uh, such as uh, Alzheimer's disease, um, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, uh, strokes, autism, uh, Huntington's uh, disease. Uh, excitotoxins, they've also been found uh, to be associated with uh, people who, uh, who have migraines, uh, diabetes, Atheral sclerosis, um, sudden death uh, from heart disease, um, eye diseases, um, digestive disorders, uh, autoimmune conditions, uh, uh, tumor growth, uh, and also um, uh, cancer cells and spreading cancer uh, and obesity as well. The uh, the most common excitotoxin, um, and you probably heard of it, is uh, is glutamate, and. Glutamate's the main component of monosodium glutamate, which is also known as MSG. As you know, as a general rule, the more the more food is processed, the more likely it is to contain uh, MSG. Some of the uh, you know foods that uh, most commonly uh, use MSG include potato chips, uh, flavored crackers, uh, canned soups, um, dry uh, dry soup mixes as well. Uh, canned meats, um, a, a lot of diet foods uh, will have MSG in it, uh, soy sauces, uh, salad dressings, uh, cured meats, and then uh, uh, poultry uh, that's injected with uh, with broth. Um, and, you know, reading the label doesn't always help you. When when a food product is 99% pure MSG, it's, it's going to be called monosodium glutamate uh, on the label, and it's uh, it's required by the FDA be uh, the by it's required by the FDA to be labeled as such. However, when when a food product contains less than ninety nine percent MSG, the FDA doesn't require that the MSG is labeled on the product. So it'll often appear on labels in um, you know various disguised forms, such as uh, you, you might see hydrolyzed vegetable protein uh, spices natural flavoring. Um, there's there's a whole bunch of other ingredients uh, that you want to uh, that you want to watch out for that uh, could could potentially be uh, MSG. Uh, ingredients uh, that may contain you know anywhere from 30 up to 60 percent MSG include hydrolyzed vegetable protein, uh, hydrolyzed protein. Um, and I'm, I'm going to give you, you know, I'll give you a bunch of other ones here too. Uh, hydrolyzed uh, plant protein. Uh, you may see plant protein extract, uh, sodium caseinate, calcium caseinate, um, uh, yeast extract, uh, textured protein, uh, autolyzed uh, yeast. Uh, you might see um, uh, hydrolyzed uh, oat flour. Um, and then ingredients that may contain anywhere from around 12 to 40% MSG uh, include malt extract, uh, malt flavoring, bouillon, uh, broth, um, uh, stock, uh, just to name a few. Um, yeah, I'll give you uh, just a couple of those, but uh, you might see it uh, uh, labeled as natural flavoring, uh, natural beef or chicken flavoring, uh, seasoning, uh, spices, and you know, ingredients that may contain uh, some MSG include, uh, you know, carrageenan, uh, enzyme, soy protein concentrate, uh, and uh, also uh, soy protein isolate. Uh, whey protein concentrate uh, may have it. So um, again, uh, you know, even you got to take a look at some of the sources of your protein shakes, things like that. Um, there's, you know, there's some soy milk that uh, that may have it. Um, so again, you need to you know make sure you look at the labels, understand you know what's in those foods, and and how to read the labels. Um, now, you know, although you know I presented you know some downsides, you know, of having excess of glutamate, it's it's important for you to know that you know glutamate does have positive health benefits as well. 
uh, and some of the uh, you know some of the health benefits um, are that it does act as an important neurotransmitter in the brain. So it has excitatory effects, uh, meaning it makes neurons more likely to fire. Um, it you know serves as a a precursor uh, for the neurotransmitter GABA, uh, which is a, a gamma aminobutyric acid, and that's the main inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. Um, now, it also does support growth and development of the brain. Um, it helps with cells uh, surviving and differentiating and supporting formation and elimination of nerve uh, nerve contacts or, uh, or synapses. Um, it does support cognitive function, including learning, uh, and also uh, also memory. Um, and it does stimulate gut movement by increasing gut serotonin levels. And um, another important uh, um, uh, important uh, role uh, is that it does help uh, produce the antioxidant glutathione, uh, which is one of the most uh, powerful antioxidants uh, in our body. Um, and it does help uh, regulate inflammatory process as well. So, you know, when, you know, when it comes to, you know, the special and sometimes, you know, like I said, it has some healthy benefits, but there's also some uh, detrimental uh, benefits to it as well too, or detrimental uh, consequences of it. Um, you know, in order to find out, you know, if, it, if it's a problem with you or not is um, you, you could get tested if you suspect that you do have some type of uh, glutamate toxicity. Um, if your glutamate levels are high, uh, you know, then you have an objective marker to carefully monitor to taper and avoid foods that are high in glutamate. Um, now, you know, if you don't want to invest in testing, the, you know, the next best step is to avoid foods uh, that are high in glutamate, you know, they have glutamate in them and, you know, see if that helps uh, improve uh, your symptoms. Um, you know, there are natural uh, plant products and extracts that reduce glutamate and immune, you know, immuno excited uh, excitotoxicities. Uh, some of them include uh, curcumin, uh, quercetin, um, green tea catechins, um, you know, uh, lute uh, lowen. Um, you know, a lot of those have been studied, and they they've been found that they help you know dampen um, you know the detrimental impact if you do have uh, excess of glutamate. Um, so hope uh, hope you guys got some uh, uh, some good information out of that, um, and uh, I do want to uh, uh, thank Functional Mind Medicine University um, for uh, uh, for providing a, a lot of the information, a lot of the resources and uh, research material uh, to me as well too. Um, all right, well you guys have a uh, have a great day, and I look forward to uh, seeing you guys soon. All right, bye now.